Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Encourage Jersey. Tomorrow my name is Michael. And today I'm going to be taking a look at the Lord's Prayer. You may have heard this before. You may have heard someone say it before. You may have prayed it yourself. So I want to take a look at what, what it is, where it's at in the Bible, and what does it mean. So this is from Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 through 13. This is the King James Version. I'll go ahead and read it for you. It says, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So what I wanted to do was take a look at the prayer itself. And then I wanted to ask AI to break down what it means. So I'll go ahead and read through that and see whether you agree. And if you find it helpful. So I ask Claude. What is the Lord's Prayer from the Bible? And what does each of the sections mean in the context of the Bible? It says the Lord's Prayer, also known as Our Father, is a prayer taught by Jesus Christ to his disciples in the Sermon on the Mount, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. 9 through 13. Gospel of Luke from chapters 11, verses 2 through 4, chapters 11, 11, 11, 11, 2 through 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Here is the text of the Lord's Prayer from the New International Version of the Bible, along with an explanation of each section. Our Father in Heaven, this is our Father in Heaven, hallowed be your name. This opening addresses God as our Heavenly Father and expresses a reverence for His holy name. So this opening addresses God as our Heavenly Father and expresses reverence for His holy name. Expresses a reverence. Expresses a reverence for His holy name. It expresses reverence for His holy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. This section expresses the desire for God's kingdom to be established and his will to be done on earth just as it is in heaven. So this section expresses the desire for God's kingdom to be established and his will to be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. This petition asks God to provide for our daily needs and sustenance. This petition asks God to provide for our daily needs and sustenance. Jesus is our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And forgive us our debts as also have forgiven as we have also as we also have. And forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. This part of the prayer acknowledges our sins, debts, and asks for God's forgiveness just as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, 